right, so I installed the Tillson 212 on the Doodlebug mini bike, the Baja Racer, and it did right around 50 miles per hour. And the uh, Tilly 212 had a uh, Makuni carb, header pipe, a seven degree flywheel key, and the governor removed. And it did right around 50. But I'm thinking, 50 miles per hour, I mean, come on, is that fast enough on a mini bike? I mean, I mean, I can almost go 50 on this beast. So I'm thinking, how can I make it faster than 50? So I went ahead and picked up this Mod 3 cam, and it has more duration than a Mod 2. You can see the flat lobes on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and install that with 18 pound springs and a uh, built rod and make it a little safer. And then throw this uh, head stud kit on there, maybe a thin head gasket. And we'll see if this thing will do uh, more than 50. I think it'll be a lot more capable now, or a lot more um, RPM capable. So we'll see what it'll do. All right, go ahead and pull the rocker arms off this beast. Let the beast off. All right, this one come off easy enough. All right, there's that. All right, go ahead and pull this head off. Sweet. So Tilly does have a dish piston with a valve relief in it. That's a trip. So it's not a flat top like a uh, Predator. Let's see how thick the head gasket is. It's about 50 thousandths. Now that's a nice thick gasket, man. So I can bump compression a little bit, maybe throw in a 12 on there or something. I already had this side cover off, so this should be pretty easy. I had this thing off when I was doing the uh, governor. governor removal. Easy enough. Cam came out with it, but that's okay. You can see the big difference in the uh, in the cams on this thing. So this is the Tilly cam. The cam lobes. Look how pointy they are, and look how flat they are on the uh, on this Mod Three. Man, there's a big difference. So I won't have to worry so much about valve to piston clearance because it doesn't have a lot of lift. It just has a lot of duration. Go ahead and pull the stock rod out. Man, this thing comes apart pretty easy. All right, there's one of them. All right, number two. All right. Pop the rod cap and piston out. There's that. All right. Go ahead and pop the rod on this beast. this thing up a little bit all the clearance is checked out let's pop this piston back down in this beast pop on this rod cap all right you save 170 inch pounds if you use oil Put this piece down to 170. Come on now. There we go. Alrighty then. Yeah, you can see the markings on this cam. It's hard to see them, but uh, you can tell it's like a custom grind cam. And they don't have any specs that come with it. So, we shall see. Pop the gasket back on. Make sure another double check of the timing mark. Yep, okay, we're in there. Lined up. All right. I'm glad I got a stock length rod on this. 
instead of getting one that's 20,000 over. Because on Tilly, man, they were right at the deck. This thing's pretty flat. They're not down the hole, really, you know? I'm going to throw the stud kit in here. Might as well. I got it torn down anyway. Might as well pop one in here. All right. There's that. All right, let's throw a 12,000 head gasket on here. This one is, okay, about 13, 12, okay. So this is supposed to be a 12. So that should bump the compression a little bit. And hopefully we have enough, I think we'll have enough uh, piston to head clearance. Let's torque this beast down. And let's go ahead and pop those valve springs on there, these 18 uh, pound valve springs, and we should be good to go. Then just set the valve lash and uh, I don't think the push rod geometry is going to be off really that much because of um, the thinner head gasket. I mean, it's not that much. And fill the combustion chamber with string. So when I fill her up, then the uh, I can push the push the uh, retainers down. The uh, valves don't fall back down into the head. All right, I got the 18 pound spring on this side, the factory stock one on that side. But you can see the 18 pound spring is a little too short because it just really pushes down easy. It needs like a shim in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the stock spring back on it. And we'll see how it runs with the stock spring. All right, I got the stock ones back in there. Yeah, I don't think that cam needs to recover really fast anyway. So, uh, I mean, it doesn't have a lot of lift. So maybe these stock springs will be good enough. I mean, they're already good enough to, uh, like what, nine horsepower this thing already puts out. So we'll see. And then if not, I'll get some shims for the 18 pound springs. I guess I'll pull the string out of here. Pop the push rods back in. So drop this push rod back down in here. Put this rocker arm on. Hopefully it used to fit. Drop this other push rod down in here. All right, there's that. Let me set this lash to three thousandths. So we've got the uh, rocker arms back on, everything's set. Go ahead and pop this valve cover back on this beast. And I'm gonna pop it on the mini bike and see what it does. It'll be interesting to see how the valve springs hold up with that cam. Look at that, it looks pretty sweet with that stud kit on there. All right, let me just throw her on the mini bike. All right, there we go, Tillerson with a billet rod and a mod 3 cam governor removed and it's gonna have a mukuni carbon header pipe it did uh, 49 miles per hour last time so we'll see if it's any faster with the mod 3 cam
see what she did. All right, at a top speed of exactly 50 miles per hour, but it seems like it's falling flat. I'm gonna change the jet on it because um, it seems like it just flattens out at top end. So I think a bigger cam needs a bigger jet maybe. So I'm gonna change that out. All right, let's go ahead and pull this bowl off this beast real quick. Yeah, it seems like it runs really flat. Like it just flattens right out at top end. And before it never did that. So I think maybe the jet's too small now because the bigger cam in there. So we shall see. Alrighty then, let's check it out. Oh, it's got a 100, no wonder. So it's only got a 100 jet. That is way too small, that's why. Okay, so let's pop a, all I have is a 115, but it's a lot bigger, so that's definitely going in the right direction. So let's try out a 115 for right now. Let's try a 115 in there, see what happens. All right, let's see what she does now with the 115 jet. Cause it did exactly the same speed it did before with the um with the stock cam was 50. so let's see if we can beat that all right you can tell i think it floated the valves right there because it's using the stock springs Oh yeah, that definitely helped it. It bumped it up to 54 right there, but then uh, uh, it sounded like it floated the bows. So uh, that jet definitely helped it. Alrighty, so it did 54 miles per hour with the Mod 2 cam, but it sounded like it actually floated the bows and I wasn't able to put the uh, 18 pound valve springs in there. So uh, I'm gonna have to go ahead and get some shims and put those valve springs in there. Cause it actually, you could hear it. It was turning a lot of RPMs. I don't know what it was turning, but um, it, it sounded like it floated the bows at 54 miles per hour. So yeah, that cam definitely is an improvement over the stock cam for sure. I just need to uh, change up the valve springs so it's not limited to the valve springs. And then we'll have to uh, come out and do it again. 